Very good day to all of you. I am Vipha, no native speaker of English, means my first language is not English. I have started a series of fascinating facts. When we want to learn the English language, there are a lot more problems. When there are words, they are not pronounced the same. In the previous video, I discussed with you that there are CH words that are not pronounced with J sound. They are pronounced with sh sound, and it is actually the French influence on the English language. It's a very really natural phenomenon for the languages, any language in the world, that they accept and they absorb the influence of the other people uh, that invade that country, that come to that country, that have um, that have the influence on them, and when they intermingle with other nations, they accept their influence on their language, on their living style, and whatever. So, show if the ch is pronounced show it is influence of French language. But if the ch words are pronounced k, k, it is influence of actually old Greek language on English language. This language has laid its rule from different languages like Latin and uh, though Latin is a dead language now, but it has, um, you can see the images and influence of uh, Greek and French civilization on, on this language. So the ch words with k sound, they are actually anchor. What I want to tell you that you have seen these two letters, ch. There are two letters, but they are blended. They give you one sound, and that sound is k. And if it is sh, then it will be one sound. If it is ch, it will be one sound. The letters are two, but they are giving you one sound. So here, the words with old Greek influence are will be pronounced k, anchor, epoch, chaos. School, schizophrenic, chemistry, chrome. You people might be we well aware with this word. Chrome, chasm, chronic, schooner, echo. There is no C sound in English Latin. C always gives you the curse sound. Why? Uh, they are called ka and what are the rules to pronounce C is ka. We will, I will discuss them in the next video. Hope you have enjoyed. When we find the reason for anything, actually it's a journey of satisfaction towards that knowledge. Then why things happen like that? And if it is the gene, it is the difference, why it occurs? It's the curiosity of human nature to find the things like that. So, sure with French influence and K with Old Greek influence. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till, till the next video, goodbye to all of you.